You know, every time that I talk about God's love and how much God loves you, there are always people around the world that say, oh, if I could only believe this, but I just cannot accept it for me. I can accept it for someone else, but not for me. One of the keys to spirituality is self-worth, to realize that you are deserving of God's love. You're created by God. You're created by God with all your uh, uniqueness and uh, your, your strangeness. So am I. And uh, with, with all of our specialness that we have, sometimes we don't view all of our certain traits as special, but they are. Mother Teresa said that a joyful heart is like a sunshine of God's love, a hope of eternal happiness, a burning flame of God. And as we pray, we will become that sunshine of God's love in our home, the place where we live, and in the world at large. In the Bible, in Ruth 2, verse 20, it says, He has not stopped showing God's kindness to the living and to the dead. This shows that God's love is endless. It is endless on this side of life and beyond when we pass through the veil to death. Well, today... Where can you find God's love? My friend, you find it everywhere. God's love transcends space and time. It reaches beyond the heavens, and it touches the darkest, smallest corner of every human heart. When we sincerely open our minds and our hearts to God, God will fill them to overflowing with God's infinite love. God has the marvelous ability to love us in the midst of our imperfections. Of course, that's what God does. God loves you just the way you are. And if God can love you in an unconditional way, Surely we can find the wisdom and the courage to accept God's love. Today, thank God for God's never-ending kindness and welcome God's love into your heart. And when you do, God's transcendent love will surround you and truly as you take it deep inside and believe it and accept it, it will totally transform you, your day, and your life.